Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Patricia Hanbich. I am your horticulturist. My oldest dearest friends know me as Patty Plant. So thanks for taking some time out to join me. Um, today I'd like to just have a short discussion on whether or not growing your own food, produce, uh, fruits, vegetables are healthier than what you can purchase uh, that has been grown on larger commercial farms. So as you can see in my background, I've got some chili peppers that are drying. Uh, I've got some preserves that I've made, some salsa, some red pepper jelly, a chili sauce. And, you know, this fall, uh, I did have a very large harvest of tomatoes and peppers and thus decided to do some preserving, putting food by that I haven't done in, you know, in, in such a large amount for, for many years. So... You know, when you think about growing your own food, there's lots of reasons why we do it. And irrevocably, it is better for you, healthier for you, to grow your own food as much as possible. So there's a number of reasons why it's healthier to grow your own, own food. And of course, one of the reasons is to get you outside under the sun, getting some vitamin D and watching nature work in in a beautiful sense we can't emulate um what it is like to grow food outside in a healthy soil uh in any other way you know there is a food shortage there was a, a huge interruption in the food supply chain due to the coronavirus and it prompted me to start doing these YouTube videos and to start helping others grow food just out of the good goodness of my heart. So as as you know, I'm a horticulturist and I have for many years shared my knowledge uh, with others, helping them to grow things better, to learn more about the world of horticulture and, and of course to grow food. So Zeus, I don't know if you can see him. He's sitting here with me. Yes, hello, Zeus. So Zeus is our, our York, Yorkshire Terrier puppy. And he also loves to be out in the garden. So it's a, it's a good match. One of the largest benefits of growing your own food is not only the intrinsic uh, benefits of being out and working in the garden and all the, the horticultural therapeutic effects of that, but you can control everything that goes into what you're producing. So from, from fork to fork, right? So from pitchfork to table fork, it is a beautiful privilege to be able to have the ability to grow food and then to harvest that produce and process it and serve it at your dinner table. So for your loved ones and your friends and neighbors and all those kind of things. So. You can control what uh, products are used going in to um, what you're growing. So pesticide uh, use is definitely different than what it is on commercial farms. And, you know, um, that in itself is impetus enough to, you know, grow some food and, and live healthier. When you grow food that's in season, it also has a higher nutrition level. So that's just another reason why, whenever possible, we should be growing food in a natural sense, as natural as possible, and take the time to process and ensure that we have a quality food that is grown close to home that will feed us in a, in a healthier fashion. Why else should you grow your own food? It used to be that... Uh, you could grow enough food to save you dollars. I, I hazard to find that fact a little arguable now because unless you have the knowledge and the skill and the space to grow a lot of food, I don't know that it's actually cheaper because of a lot of the inputs that we put in. So I like to grow everything in soil if possible because it is a, a healthier, more natural way to, to grow food. And I like to ensure that my soil is healthy. So what is a healthy soil? 
A healthy soil gives the plants all the nutrition that they need, but it also is of good friability or good health that allows the plants to grow to their, their highest potential. So mixing in compost and, and other natural fertilizers is the beginning, but when it comes to actual fertilization, plants take up nutrients in the elemental form. So ideally, you want to have the natural fertilizers broken down in the soil so the plants can then take them up in elemental form with their origin being of a natural sense rather than man-made. More expensive to do things that way, which is again one of the reasons that I think that growing your own food isn't necessarily a cheaper option, but it most definitely is a better option. So I, I've decided that I'm going to produce a lot of videos over the winter because now it's November and that means that uh, I'm inside growing but there are still ways to do it more economically and better um, and and to prepare for spring so we're ready to grow food in the appropriate fashion to ensure that we're eating healthier and living healthier. So thank you for joining me. I come to you once a week um, on the Facebook channel of Orchid Horticulture and you can find all of my videos any time of the day or night on the YouTube channel Grow. So I'll make sure I put up the links for those uh, ways to uh, watch them. If you have any specific questions do drop me a line let me know what it is you're interested in having covered because we've got a little bit of time now before we can plant our gardens so let's get ready for spring growing and um, live better live healthier grow our own food and um, live life in a happier sense thank you for joining me i hope wherever you are you are happy you're healthy and you're growing great things see you next time folks bye now